The Raven has finally landed. Today we're going to do a full review on these Ryzen processors with Radeon Vega graphics. What's up guys, once again Shane here. If you've seen our previous video, you would know that we just unboxed the review kit for AMD's Raven Ridge APUs. The Ryzen 3 2200G and the Ryzen 5 2400G are here to replace existing models in the current lineup, the Ryzen 3 1200 and the Ryzen 5 1400. At this point, you're probably wondering what's new about these processors. Well, other than the addition of Vega integrated GPUs, here are the five key differences between these Ryzen APUs and their predecessors. Number one. Raven Ridge utilizes the density optimized version of the Global Foundry's 14 nanometer plus FanFET process. This allows for smaller die sizes and a better power to performance ratio. Number two, AMD has shifted from a 2 plus 2 CPU complex or CCX configuration to a single 4 plus 0 CCX configuration. While testing the Summit Ridge CPUs, it was found out that some games preferred the extra cache from the 2CCX config, while others responded better to the lower latency from the 1CCX approach regardless of the cache. Number 3. They've gone down from 8MB to 4MB of L3 cache. According to AMD, this has been largely offset with higher clock speeds, so there shouldn't be a drop in CPU performance. Number 4. The 16 PCIe lanes have been reduced to only 8. The three main reasons are 1. Compatible mid-range GPUs and workloads tend to not use the extra PCIe lanes. 2. It simplifies the manufacturing process, thus making the processors cheaper. 3. It leads to a smaller and more efficient uncore which should help with temperatures. Number 5. In terms of construction, they've not only revised the CPU package, which allows support for RAM speeds up to 2933 MHz, but also made a transition to a conventional non-metallic thermal interface material or TIM. Let's hope that this does not limit overclocking headroom. So here are the specs of the iGPUs in these new APUs versus the older Bristol Ridge ones that we've previously covered so feel free to check that out. You get Vega over R7, more cores and higher clock speeds. In terms of external display and free sync, AMD has added support for HDR and high frame rates up to 240Hz in 1080p. They have also expanded the decoding and encoding capabilities of these processors. That's cool and all, but you're probably asking this now. What about the price? Well, I'm happy to inform that AMD has decided to keep the price low for these new APUs. They've even taken $10 off the Ryzen 3 2200G versus the older Ryzen 3 1200. Now let's move on to the numbers. Kicking off with synthetic benchmarks for just the CPU, the Ryzen APU scored about 10 to 18% higher than the older Ryzen 3 1200 and the Ryzen 5 1400. The 2400G, however, is still about 5 to 7% slower than the i5 8400 at a similar price point. Moving on to synthetic benchmarks for the integrated GPU, the Ryzen APUs kick the i5's ass in all 3D Mark tests and even manages to keep up with the GT 1030 considering that it would cost you another $89 or 359 ringgit. In the PC Mark 10 overall test, the Ryzen and Vega Dynamic Duo proved to be a strong contender for general workloads. Next, we tested the APUs for real in Adobe Photoshop and Premiere Pro. Unsurprisingly, the faster clock speeds for the newer design yielded a 20-25% improvement in performance. Finally, here are the gaming benchmarks. In both CSGO and Dota 2, the Ryzen APUs managed to maintain at least 90 plus FPS in medium and 100 plus FPS in low. In Overwatch, we're still getting over 60 FPS in medium and the 2400G even got up to 100 plus FPS in low. PUBG, however, is quite a different beast altogether since the optimization of this game is still quite shoddy. You could still play it in 720p at the very low setting, but you won't be able to shoot anything in a distance. Other than in CSGO, I was really surprised to see that the 2400G was able to get neck to neck with the GT 1030. Very impressive indeed. So, final thoughts? 
I think that not only has AMD improved on the performance of these new processors, they've even managed to throw in the best iGPUs on the market without increasing the price. This is really good news for people who just want to build a PC to play esports titles without breaking the bank. While they still have some ways to go, AMD has taken another huge step towards making APUs viable for serious gaming. For now though, they've rendered entry-level discrete GPUs somewhat irrelevant. We've just reached 5 million, I mean 5,000 Facebook likes because that's almost the same thing and 2,500 subscribers on YouTube. As promised, we'll be giving away this Ryzen I mean, uh, this Ryzen 3 1200 CPU to one of you lucky subscribers for supporting us thus far. To enter, simply click on the Glim link in the description. And once you've done that, please give this video a like, a share, and leave a comment down below to let us know what you think about these new Ryzen APUs. And you're set! Stay frosty, guys. We'll see you in the next one. XOXO. Gossip Girl.